In today's video, I'm making another fish and enemy guard. This time it's for the Nero 5. I had such success with the Nero 3 and so many people requested that I actually make the same version for the Nero 5. So finally, here it is. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay to the end so you can figure out where you can get your hands on this guard for yourself. Welcome back to IC Live. My name is Mark. So I've probably made about, I don't know, six or seven of these fish and anemone guards for different pumps. And the very first one I started with was the Nero 3. Now, since producing that video and selling a few of these things, I've gotten a lot of requests for the Nero 5. So that's what we're doing today. And it starts by opening the box. And here we go. So everything in the box is the same as the Nero 3, obviously, uh, just a little bit larger. So here's the pump. Ooh, it's sending a little bit dirty. Well, oh well, it's going in a tank, so it will get plenty dirty. Then we've got the magnets on the back. We also have a few little cord management pieces. And then last, we have the power adapter and the manual. So here is the Nero 5. It is the same as the Nero 3, just slightly larger, made of the same parts. There's the front cover, the impeller, and then the main pump motor body. And here is the controller. So before getting started with the design, I wanted to do a quick comparison between the Nero 5 and the SLW 20. So these things are almost identical. The covers are basically the same size. The impellers are very similar. Now they're not interchangeable because they do have a different diameter shaft, but they're almost the exact same size. So here is the main pump bodies. They are almost the exact same size. Once again, just a slightly different shape. Uh, the Nero 5 uses these tabs and the SLW20 has these little slots that the covers slide into. I find the slots to be a lot more sturdy because I have actually broken several tabs on the Nero 3 in the past. Um, and hopefully I don't break any on this Nero 5. Putting it back together right here. <laughs> So it's time to get going with the design. I'm gonna go ahead and start by making a detailed model of the Nero 5 in Fusion 360. So here is the first print and it was a failure. Um, something went wrong with the printer. I don't know, it looks like I might have had some layer shifting. This GTEC really sucks. I need a printer upgrade badly. Oh, that's it. I've had it with this dump. I was however able to test the fit and it was pretty good. I did make some very minor adjustments to kind of make it fit a tiny bit more snug so it just snaps into place. And now it's time to go ahead and reprint the final version. Many tic tacs later. After several more print failures, I finally got a quality print. Uh, my printers are going out. Our pets' heads are falling off! 
many parts are wearing out and they needed a tune-up so I had to do printer surgery to ultimately retune them and get this beautiful result. The model turned out fantastic and it fits perfectly. Super snug and very easy to also get on and take off and I think it looks great on this Nero 5, so I cannot wait to get it into a tank. If you'd like to get your hands on this model, I've made it available on iclive.com. You can also shoot me a message and I will send you the STL files at no cost. And last, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you live in the next video. Oh wait, before the beat drops, if you're still here, I wanna let you know, uh, shoot a comment and leave a request on what I should make next. I'm ultimately making most of the things that just people ask me to make. So if you have an idea or something that you want specifically for your tank, just let me know and I might make it.